Machina and Tractor have both just been updated to incorporate Ableton Link functionality. And Ableton Link is a really cool little thing that developers can build into their applications that enables apps to communicate either over a wired or a wireless connection. It doesn't send MIDI as such in a conventional way, uh, but what it does is it creates a sort of central grid for all the apps to synchronize their playback. And essentially the way it works is that whichever app most recently controlled the tempo is the master, but there isn't really a master in the conventional master-slave kind of relationship that you get with these kinds of software usually. And basically everything just kind of meshes together. It's really, really nice. And so I'm just gonna show you very briefly how this works. Here on my iPad, I'm running uh, Arturia's iSpark, which is one of the compatible apps. There are quite a few iOS apps that are compatible with Ableton Link. If I go into the Connect menu, I can see that I've got Ableton Link enabled there. There it is. And if on my desktop now I come into Machine, this is the newest version, and I click on the Link button, I've actually got a third device, which is why it's showing two links, but I'll show you that in a second. Now, if I start playback on iSpark by tapping on the iPad, and then if I start playback in Machine, it should wait. What I could then do is I could bring in a third device. For example, here's iMachine running on an iPhone. And again, if I tap and hold, I can see that Ableton Link is enabled. So I could then, for example, bring iSpark back in, right? And then in iMachine, I might want to turn off some of these. And then bring the desktop version of Machine back in. Here's another example. In this example, I've got the latest version of Tractor, which has Ableton Link compatibility. You can see here, I've clicked on it. So I'm connected to my Link network. Got my iPad also on the same network, and I've got the Launchpad app, which is also Link compatible. If I tap on the Tempo menu, you can see here that I've got Ableton Link enabled. There we go. So this is really cool for DJing and stuff. And if you route the audio outputs of everything into a mixer, you can all play together and you can record it. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. So this is a really, really nice way to synchronize multiple devices with, uh, with each other, but in this case with, with Tractor Pro. This is awesome. Watch this, if I make sure that my deck here is set to sync and not master, if I start playing in Tractor, uh, you'll see that I'm able to drop my little clips in from Launchpad on top. So if I move over to the iPad,
David Evans was to stop Tractor. Launchpad keeps going. I can bring Tractor back in. So you can see that it's a really awesome way of linking these applications together. Um, it's just, it's so cool. And they all kind of, they all just mesh together when you turn Ableton Link on. No one device controls the others. They can sort of take over control as they, as they go along. And you can have theoretically as many people as you want joining in on a session. So that's really awesome news for owners of Tractor Pro, Machine, and Reason, and of course Ableton Live, and all sorts of other apps. So get these updates and have a play. It's really cool.